Walter and I'm here at the Desert Dairy uh, doing an art residency for two weeks. My residency focuses on sort of resurrecting uh, part of the landscape into a form that I can use in my work. Last year I came to Desert Dairy and worked on a completely different type of project. I actually worked on two projects simultaneously. I worked on a story uh, about a landscape that's very similar to this in another country. And then I also worked on a stitching project, sort of an homage to this place. And it sort of looked like my image of a dairy farm uh, embroidery on a beautiful uh, tunic. Um, this year, because I knew what was here, I decided to actually use the land to um, create my project. Many years ago, I made some handmade paper, and I, I've used little bits of it in some of my book arts, but um, I discovered coming here that it takes to the rust really well, and I'm excited because even my own art materials have gotten a new life. So this particular packet is all handmade papers that I probably made about 20 years ago and um, have had in a drawer for a while and they've taken on a new life. So you can see beautiful paper here, handmade paper, but then now it's got this rusty patina and um, it just, I don't know, it just seems so much richer some of it's very delicate, but it really holds up well. I've been working with these metal pieces for so long, um, you know, for two weeks. I'm going to actually make some still life pieces using the metal pieces as well. Um, paper and fabric has to be next to um, a rusty object, and it has to be wrapped and sealed in plastic to be kept moist. And so what I do is I wrap it like a top, like a burrito. And the last layer is this plastic. So the final layer on the outside is always a paper. I so I use this very thin paper to wrap it in like skin. And so there are layers upon layers of that. And then there are objects and steel wool and pieces of screening and metal that I've found. And then we have some fabric that will be used in a collage of some kind. And you never know what's going to happen because some of the metal doesn't give you these beautiful impressions. And then you also get these very intense little areas that, that can continue eating through the fabric. They continue to deteriorate. But it really looks like the desert. And the thing that's wonderful on the fabric, because I'm all about intuitive art, I start to see things. Things start to appear in the fabrics and then I'm going to embellish them with thread and they will either turn into abstracts or you know, represent representational things. Like some of them look like landscapes and they really have the feeling of being in a desert. I worked a lot with paper and I worked a lot with different recycled fabrics that I've thrifted. So the paper, these are coffee filters that I use and they stand up to um, the dyeing process very nicely. They don't fall apart, even though they're extremely transparent. They're wonderful for uh, mixed media projects and book projects, book arts. I do a lot of handmade books. So the other materials that I used were recycled um, fabrics that were found in thrift stores, um, scraps of cotton someone had given for making a quilt 
this beautiful organ, organza cotton fabric that um, I unpicked from a large curtain panel. And the thing that's wonderful about these is you can actually start to see images and like ghost images, almost like the past coming back to life. And with very few stitches, these will turn into really beautiful panels. So the last project I'm going to, uh, it which will probably be the first project I do when I return home is um, this lamp or lampshade. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna have it as a hanging or a table lamp, but this lamp, um, this shape, I saw last year when I was here doing a residency and I fell in love with this metal in a circular shape with these rectangles. I don't know why, I just love the combo. But I found a piece of rusty metal this morning and um, with some help from Abe, he helped me transform it into a lampshade, which I am then going to either cover with fabrics or I'm going to cover it with the paper. And then once it's illuminated, it will be really beautiful. So again, it'll have another life. Restoring the Rejected. Rescuing the discarded and the rejected. It's me I am attempting to rescue. Having been rejected by others, having been rejected by myself. Now rescuing the rejected pieces and scraps, illuminating their value, beauty, and usefulness. Embracing the process to soothe me. Discerning, collecting, and sorting things out. Rearranging, reconfiguring, reconstructing, rebuilding, and reinventing. Piece by piece, scrap by scrap, by gluing, stitching, printing, collaging, and storytelling. The debris that devalued no longer begins to breathe again, emerging from the shadows, emerging from the forgotten. The transition between life, death, and rebirth cycles forward. Reassembled through my hands, heart, and attention. Clearly determining why process matters, why process is the key the door, the dwelling, and the universe. Within the formation and reformation is where life, healing, and transformation reside. Remembered now, reinvented now, reemerged now. Life, restored now, reborn.